7 for the kids. Hi, I'm Debbie. He's arguably the biggest name in gospel and stronger than ever. But Kevin Downswell projecting a low-key vibe, even as he realigns his brand to make a difference for school kids. Let's go! Ready? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I needed to come off the stage at some point and be more tangible, upfront, face to face with people. Kevin Downswell there explaining the thinking behind realignment. His three year old Give Back concert series, designed as a school improvement and mentorship program for school kids. Ferris Primary in Westmoreland, the main beneficiary. And I said to the principal the other day, I bet these kids start doing better because the, the, the better the, the environment is, the more conducive it is to learning. Ocherias High School also set for support this year. You know, people will be cynical and, and, and say there is a good PR payback for the artist who does stuff like this. To be honest, if I could do this without any PR, I would. I think that's where my heart is. My personality is very far from what people call celebrity. I'm a private guy. I love to do stuff. I'm a home guy and I hate publicity. From Jamaica to the Caribbean. That said, Kevin Downswell, arguably Jamaican gospel music's leader of the pack. Stronger thanks to an up to date slick image. Actually, I think there are people out there who like Kevin Downswell who aren't particularly completely into gospel. And that's good. You appeal to a secular crowd too. I'm happy for that. The major call in my life is to those who don't know that. But the point is you're also a hip guy is what I'm trying to I don't know if it's call it hip. <laughs> to be honest with me, I can't stay in my whole all day and I make a t-shirt and I make a chance for good. I'm a workaholic. I would stay in the studio all day, 24 hours without eating because I know exactly what that's going to have, the impact it's going to have. I would put this on because I know the impact. But all that aside, my real personality is I'm good without the lights. Downswell's clean cut persona, sometimes in stark contrast to the not infrequent stories of Reverend This or Bishop That, behaving more like a predator than a pastor. He avoids throwing stones, but hard to stay aloof from hypocrisy in the pulpit. The church is known as the body, which means if the foot hurt, the eye feel it. If the toe hurts, the belly feels it. And so you, you ask me the question, how do I feel? Sometimes I want to go in a car and cry. It hurts a lot when, when you would hear people who should be declaring and should be walking in what they're declaring are found and caught in a different light. It hurts. It, it's disappointing because, be, believe it or not, you know, there's a pressure that comes at you when others feel. It's like others are looking for you to maybe feel. And it's a human nature, you know, to say, okay, I wonder what one of us can happen. But the first thing I'd say is, pray for me. Because we're all human beings and every one of us are born to feel. As a matter of fact, you might not know how much I feel.